Hey guys, I'm back with another project for Sock Crafters Shop on Zibit. And this time I decided to create a little gift bag. I'm in a little gift giving mood and I've been making a couple of gift bags. And this is one of them. And I wanted to share it with you because I used a lot of goodies from Saw Shop. And um, I just started off with, you know, a regular craft um, gift bag. It looks like this. See? And I picked this up at the Dollar Tree. It was two for a dollar. And they have them in, you know, other colors. They have them in white, red, brown, or whatever. I mean, not brown, but uh, blue. But I thought the craft would work out really well. So that's what I started off with, guys. And for the paper, um, the collection is an old one. Maybe some of you guys might recognize it. It's called Mariposa, which means butterfly in Spanish. And it's by Die Cuts with a View. And I've had this collection for quite a while and never used it. And I've been challenging myself to not go buy anything new. Not just because my husband cut me off. <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> he thinks I have a lot of stuff. And he's right. I really do. So, th I know there's a few new stuff coming out from Tim Holtz that I have to have. So, in the meantime, I said that uh, I'm not going to do any shopping. So, yeah, we'll see how that works. But anyways, okay. So, yeah. So, I used the Mariposa collection. And, of course, lots of gorgeous goodies from Sauce Shop. And let me bring it closer so you guys can take a look. And it's really cute. I think it came out really nice. It's extremely colorful, of course. Love all the bright colors from the paper pad. So pretty. And I wanted to incorporate all those colors into, um, you know, the gift bag. The inspiration was this beautiful design here in the middle. The little image of the birdcage with the butterflies and the, the little um, flourishes. See how they sparkle? They're so pretty. They're already um, glittered up, so that's really what I, the basis of the whole gift bag. I wanted to pick up a lot of the colors that are in that image. So basically I started off with just a big piece of patterned paper and I cut it down a little bit smaller than the bag because I wanted the craft to show. So I adhered that on there. Um, I did ink all of the edges with some black so just to make them pop a little bit. And then I went ahead and used another piece of patterned paper, this one here, and I backed it onto a piece of craft cardstock and again all my edges are inked with black soot. Same thing here, this is just another layer piece from the Mariposa collection and I just used another sheet of craft cardstock underneath that. So I just wanted to do a lot of different layers from the different papers from the collection. And then of course down here is another one poking out and this one's in black and it's got like a little gold, um, almost like a, a gold leaf, um, floor leaf. it's really pretty. And that one, again, is also backed or matted on top of a um, craft cardstock piece. So that's there. And then, of course, my pretty image was cut from one of the papers. I think it's so pretty. And I used another piece of cardstock as well for my background. So it's just a bunch of layers. And then I took a doily. This is a doily from my stash, paper doilies from Michaels. I cut it in half, and I used half up here and the other half just down there. And I like the way that it frames the image. Okay, and then I use this pretty trim for my stash. Look how pretty this is. I'm going to bring it closer so you guys can see all the details. Isn't that gorgeous? It's so super pretty. And it just goes all the way across. Actually, I take the back. It doesn't go all the way across. I like to save some of my trims so whenever I know some of it's going to get covered, I usually just do like a small piece. And I'm sure you guys do that. So I just use a small piece here and then a smaller piece over here on this side. So it just looks like it goes all the way across. But really pretty trim for my stash. And then I wanted to make some handmade flowers. There was a beautiful flower right here in the corner um, in the image. And of course, it was going to get covered up anyway. I had to cut part of it off. So I mimicked that flower. And it kind of looks a little bit like a hibiscus. And so what I did is I created these handmade flowers here. This one and that one up there. And let me show you the punch that I used for that. It's a um, punch by McGill. That's the brand McGill. It looks like that. And I think it's called Floriano. And so I basically punched three shapes out of the cardstock, and then I kind of um, uh, curled the edges down on two of the petals, and I curled the edges up on the third petal. I followed a tutorial from um, a while back. I can't think of the gal's name, but uh, I've been making these flowers for a while, and they just come out really pretty. See, they're, they kind of remind me of, you know, like a tropical hibiscus. And for the inside of the flower is a different McGill punch, and that one is, it's like a sun punch, so it looks like that. 
And I just took like five of these, punched five of them out of cardstock, crinkled them up, and then adhered one over the other to create like a little bunch. And that goes right in the inside of the flower. It came out really pretty. So I, I made that one, and then the one up there. And then my flower clusters, uh, the rest of the flowers are from my stash. These two flowers uh, I picked up in LA. And they were a very bright white. I wanted to tone it down a little bit, so I used Lindy Stamping in Creme Brulee Cream to um, tone them down a little bit, make them more ivory. So I inked those up, and then these two little ones here are, were also white. I believe these are I Am Roses flowers. And for that one, I used, um, oh my gosh, I can't think of the name, Sun Loving, Summer Loving Sun, something like that by Lindy Stamp Gang as well, but I did dilute it with water because it's a very bright yellow and I didn't want it so bright so I diluted with water on my craft mat and then I painted the little flowers. And then these little bushes or little stem thingies, little leaves, whatever you want to call them, are just from a Spellbinders foliage uh, die. I used green cardstock and I used a green stamp pad on just the edges of the little leaves just to give them a little bit more dimension. Very cute, and as you can see, look how it's nice and shimmery. I use tons of stickles on the flowers. They're very pretty. So that's that cluster, and then this cluster is very similar. The same type of flowers for my stash, all glittered up and inked with the Lindy Stamping, and then I've got the little leaves poking out. Those are the Spellbinder dye leaves. And then um, down here, I just labeled it Friends, and it is a word, a metal word piece from Michaels. It's from like the $2 bin. It comes with like six words, and I thought that one went really well. And um, the pieces that I used from Saw were all antique gold, so this one was already an antique gold, and I thought it would go really well, so that's the one that I used. Now, these are the goodies I used from Saw's shop, with these two beautiful corner pieces down at the bottom. Aren't they gorgeous? And look how big they are. Right? They're so big. I love them. Now these were a little bronzy colored and I did want to, you know, uh, use basically the same metals, to, you know, the uh, vintage gold color. So I inked them up with the alcohol inks and I just dabbed them in some areas. So in some areas you can st still see some of the bronze coming out and that's okay because it gives it a very distressed look, more like a vintage gold that I was going for. And so I did that to both corner pieces and I adhered them with E6000 right there in the corner and they're so pretty. I just love the details. And there are some little pearls in, uh, on the so inside. It's just one right there, and then one right there. And they're like a little, um, I want to say like a champagne color. Little pearls for my stash. And I did the same thing over there. They're just very, very hard to see because they're so little. Okay. And then another beautiful goodie from Saw's shop is this gorgeous butterfly up here that I just adhered over here. The collection is called Mariposa, so I wanted to add another butterfly. And this one is so lovely. It's got these little openings here where you can add a rhinestone pearl. And I just added some little pearls for my stash using some glossy accents. And they're so pretty. Look how pretty that came out. Very nice. And the other goodies were on Saw's shop were these over here. I used one of her little wood pieces. This one says enjoy. And these are really cute. They kind of have like a little, you know, honeycomb shape. And what I did with this one, I drilled a hole right on top, a little tiny hole, because I was going to use it as a charm. And I used a jump ring to connect it to this little piece of vintage gold chain that I had. And then this one here, it's like a little pocket, a little locket, I'm sorry. And it's really neat. Let me see if I can open it. I recently cut my nails. They were super long. And so now I can't see to open anything. But let me see if I'm able to open this one. Okay, good. See? So it's just a little locket. Super cute. And I used uh, like a little circle punch. And I punched these two little images. It's a little birdcage on one side and a little butterfly on the other. And these are all from the paper collection. I just, you know, punched them out. I'd hear them on here with some glossy accents. And then I went over the tops with some uh, dimensional magic. Look how that came out. So cute, right? So it's just like a little locket. And I used it as a charm with a jump ring attached to that little piece of chain that I had. And then I also used this little Tim Holtz tassel in the vintage gold color as well. So now I've got this cute little charm just hanging up here. Very cute. And then, of course, I have to have a bow. So I tied this pretty bow using some white ribbon for my stash. And I think I'm getting better at this bow thing. So what do you think? <laughs> a little bit better. 
I was, it took me a while, believe me. I kept untying it and trying to fix it, but I think I did okay. So just a little bow right on top. And that's it. Oops. God, I always do that. I'm so sorry, guys. Ever since my tripod broke, I have to set it up on my books, and then I end up uh, just messing with it. Anyway, but there's my bag. I think it came out really, really pretty. And, you know, I'm going to put some little goodies in there and give it to a friend. I think it came out really nice. I really like the bright colors of the Mariposa collection. I love the little handmade flowers. And then, of course, all the beautiful metal pieces from Saw Shop just add such an air of elegance to the to the uh, gift bag. I think it's really, really lovely. And then also, since I was in the gift-giving mood, I decided to make a couple of other little things using some of the trims from Saw Shop. I've seen some really, really pretty flowers lately, and I'm terrible at making flowers, but I thought that I could use, you know, the trims that Saw sent me in my design team package, and I used the um, Tattered Floral Dye by Tim Holtz. And look, I came up with a couple flowers. I think they're pretty cute. And all I did is I did two, I die cut two pieces of the larger flower from the Tattered Floral, Florals collection and then the smaller one. And then I have this little, I don't know what you would call this, I picked it up at a garage sale, let me show you. It was this, it's like, I, it was for 25 cents, I just saw it and it kind of reminded me of like feathers. It's, you know, it's like this, this stuff. See? So I just used a couple of pieces of this in the middle of the flower. It reminded me of some of the flowers that Bona makes, you know, when she uses that little, um, I think it's called eyelash trim. So I just used that in the, you know, in the middle. I layered the two larger pet uh, flower petals, and then I used this little eyelash thing, and then the one on top. And then this center is from Hobby Lobby. It's from the Spare Parts collection. I thought it, I just adhered it on there. It's actually a brad, but if you cut off the edges of the prong and then just use some hot glue, you can adhere it as a flower center. It's really pretty. And then, of course, I backed it all onto just a little chipboard circle. I think it's really pretty. So I made that one. I also made this one using the pretty trim from Saw Shop. And I'm going to put the link below to Saw Shop so you guys can go take a look. She's got a lot of great goodies in right now. Lots of metal pieces, a lot of chipboard pieces, some new ones for Halloween. And have you guys seen those doors that she created, you know, using her album? Um, she made them in her album, Halloween album. I thought those were great. So she's got some really awesome goodies. You guys should really check it out. And then, of course, her trims are just beautiful. I love this one. And I'm going to use these flowers. I'm going to make a couple headbands for Kayla. She loves them. She's already told me she w what she wants to do with the pink ones. For this one, for the center, I did use a little um, uh, ribbon buckle. And I believe Saw carries some of these in her shop. These, in particular, I got on eBay, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that Saw has some of these, as well as all the flat back pearls. And this is just a 10, this one is a 12, 12 centimeter flat back pearl. I just adhered it to the center of the ribbon buckle. So that's my flower. And then I created a couple more using the ivory trim. This one's a little bit bigger. See, really pretty. So just the tattered florals and a couple of trims and some of these little eyelash thing and ribbon buckles in the center. It's really pretty. They came out really nice. And they're going to look really cute on a headband. So, I just wanted to play with a couple of flowers, wanted to see if I can come up with something on my own. And of course, you know, the, everybody does these, but I just, I've never tried them, so I just wanted to try it with my tattered, tattered florals dye. So, I hope you guys like them. They're really cute, and I hope you guys like my bag. I'm really happy with it. I think it came out really nice. It's very festive looking, right? And it's very sweet and elegant, I think. So, hope you guys like it, and don't forget to check out Saw Shop for lots of luscious goodies. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and let me know what you think, all right? I'll catch you all real soon. Bye-bye.